Okay, for my starching process, I'm using the Stay Flow Liquid Starch Concentrate out of the jug, and I have a spray bottle. I have a little bit left from the last time that I used it, but I'm still going to go with it. Okay, I just add, pour in the starch. I go about that much. I just pour a bunch in there and then add a little bit of water to it just so it doesn't, it dilutes it a little bit so it doesn't clog up the spray nozzle. Give it a little shake and it's ready to go. Okay, this is my spray station and I just have a thin piece of uh, plywood here and I've covered it with a regular normal size bath towel and it kind of just fits right all the way around it. Um, I just set it up on some saw horses. It gives it a good height um, that I need. Most of the fabric that I'm starching is only, I try to do half inch, excuse me, half yard cuts. That way it fits on the width of my board. I don't have anything overhanging. So then what I do is just take, I do about eight at a time and I make sure they're all of the same color family just in case something bleeds, um, it's not super noticeable or going to ruin a piece of fabric. So I've laid the first piece down and I put wrong sides up and then I'm just gonna go ahead and spray until each area is saturated. And you can kind of see, you'll see, especially on the edge, like near the salvage, how it's drawing up a little bit, doing a little pre-shrinking. And I've got all areas soaking wet. And so the towel kind of absorbs all the overspray and keeps my area, so it's not slippery on the floor if some gets on the floor, or it's not dripping all over, it's just kind of contained to this area. Okay, and so the first one you can see it's kind of puddling in areas. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and add the next piece. Same thing, right on top of it, right sides down. I just kind of smooth it out a little bit and start spraying. Now with them being layered, if I miss little spots, it's okay because I'm going to leave them sit for four to six hours just stacked up like this so that all of the liquid can soak through and can get absorbed into the fabric. And this is going to make a heavy starch. This is a heavy starch. The fabric becomes almost like cardboard when you're working with it and it just ensures better accuracy in my cutting, in my piecing, when I'm pressing, my overall blocks tend to come out better. So to me it's worth the, the process of this. Okay, and just grab another one. And same thing. Just smooth it out a little bit just to kind of get some of the big wrinkles out. Now my fabric has been drying for about three hours and I let it go for three to six hours um, just so it's not drippy anymore. There's no puddles of liquid on it. Um, it's damp, but it's, it's still, you know, wet all over. So now I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it on this drying rack and I place it And then I try to make sure that I get my edges here straight with each other and then kind of make it so that I have the halfway point on the 
cylinder bar there. So when it, it dries, it may stretch a little bit there, but that's generally a part that I wouldn't use. So um, then I'm gonna go ahead and just keep taking each layer off. Okay, everything is dry now, and if you can, you can kind of hear it and see that it's it's pretty stiff, a little wrinkly, but we're going to take care of that. So now I just take all of my pieces of fabric, and we're going to go press them. Okay, now I'm at my pressing station, and I use this misting bottle, and I just do a light mist of water. Um, I am using a dry iron that's on the highest setting and then I just go ahead and I'm pressing it from the wrong side and I just press the whole thing flat and if I need more water I spray more water And then once I have it all pressed, it's nice and flat, I kind of line up my edges and just give it a little fold there on the crease. And then what I do is I have my design board set up here with all the fabrics that I've already starched for this project. And I just um, carry the board around and as I need a certain color I can just pull it out cut what I need to and then place it back on here so it stays nice and flat ready to be used to my quilt thanks for watching